Okay, so in this video we are going to go through actually adding an app to our store and we are going to add in the Shopify product reviews app. So this is an app developed by Shopify and as you can read here there's a lot more information about it but it lets people easily review your products which is great to add that credibility and trust and social proof. So we'll look at some screenshots here and you can see how it'll look once you have some reviews in as well as being able to publish or unpublish them if they're spam or contain profanity. And you can see how that also will show up really nicely in Google, which is great. And here's an example of what that would look like on your site when you actually do have some reviews in. So this is what we are going to go through setting up. So we are on the product reviews page in the App Store. But to get here, you can just go into search and type in reviews and it's this first one right here. Okay so we are going to just hit the button get and this will add it to our store. We're already logged in to our Shopify back end area for our store which you can see here because we have our name of our store and then log out. So we're just going to hit get and then that'll start adding it to our store. So now it's just asking us to authorize the app, to be able to look at these different things. So we are going to hit install. Now some apps will install the code automatically for you. However, other apps like this one, you'll actually have to put in the code yourself. But a lot of the apps either have really great documentation to show you how to do it, or it'll show you in, on the app page itself, like it is here. So we are going to be copying this snippet of code right here, and then we need to go put it on our site where we want it to show up. So I am just going to copy this, and then here you can see exactly where it's telling you to paste this code. So we're gonna actually go into our theme and put it in on the HTML area on the product.liquid file, and you're going to just put it where you want it to be. So for example, let's go to our front end of our store and we're going to just go under one of the products here. So we want it to show up right underneath the probably the description area and let this share this product get pushed down a little bit. So we'll put it right underneath the description. So we are going to head back here and we've got that copied. Let me just make sure that's copied one more time. Okay, and then we are going to go to Online Store, Themes, and this time before we went to Customize Theme, this time we are actually going to click on this and do Edit HTML and CSS. So I really encourage you not to really mess around with items in this back end area unless you know code or you have a tutorial like that or the documentation that walks you through exactly where you need to put the, the different items. Otherwise, you can really mess up your site and you'll have to go back in and redo different things. So we're going to hit just product.liquid, which we can see here under templates. So here is a bunch of codes. What we're looking for is the description. So I'm going to scroll down and see if I can see description. I see the word title which is going to be what's showing here. So we're kind of, we're on this side now, so we're getting close. So let's see. I see Add to Cart, which is our Add to Cart button, so we're getting closer. And here we go, here's our description. So right underneath the description area, I'm just going to enter and paste. And this is the code that we copied from there, and we're just gonna hit Save. And now let's go back to our app. So we are over here on apps. And we will just click on the Shopify product reviews app. And this is showing that we don't have any reviews yet. However, we want to make sure that it's installed properly. So we're going to go under settings and install instructions. So here you can also add the star rating to your product listings area, so on the actual collection. So instead of not just being here, but actually whenever you have all the different products kind of smaller in this area, however, 
We're not going to add that in for right now because we don't really have any products yet and we don't have any reviews on those products. So if we added it in, it would look like no one is shopping with us. So I think that's something that's great to add in once you do have a few reviews for each of your products. Otherwise, it can look kind of bare. So what we're going to do is we are going to come down here to this verify the code snippet is working and hit verify and continue. And our store is password protected, so it can't do that. So let's close this out and then let's go turn that off. So we're going to go under settings, online store, and we're going to click off the password protector storefront. And let's go back to our app again. We'll click on product reviews, settings, install instructions, scroll down and say verify and continue. Great, and it says that it is verified, so let's hit dismiss and let's go back to our front end and click on one of these products just to see it showing up. Great, so now we have this here where we don't have any reviews, but we can hit write a review and someone can give the rating of the star, enter their name and information and their review. So let's head back to the back end app and see what other items we can customize. So we'll go back here to settings. And one of the biggest things that I think you should change is the auto publish. So instead of having it already enabled so that as soon as they post the comment, it's instantly published, I always recommend doing disabled so that you can manually publish those reviews and just make sure that they are okay. So you're not necessarily wanting to say, okay, this isn't a bad, this is a bad review, I don't want to publish it. It's more that you want to make sure it doesn't have profanity or it's not spam or in a, a way different language that's hard, people won't understand. You kind of just want to overall just check and make sure everything is in line with your brand. And then since you are doing disabled, I would hit the email settings to get an email whenever the review is submitted and you can enter your email address here. We have it using the theme color, which is what's automatically pulling in that green. And a lot of these settings here, the review listing layout, the colors and the wording are all really kind of default that work really nicely. So you can come in here and change some of this if you like of how things are labeled. However, we're just going to keep this the same and hit save. So as soon as we did get reviews, they would start showing up here. Great. And then that's all that we need to do for the product reviews. We can add a test review if you want to see that coming in now. So we'll head to the front end under this and we'll write test. And let's give this a five star. Okay, and we'll just hit submit review. So you can see here it's not automatically published. It. It's just saying thank you for submitting a review. So let's go to your back end. So because we set up to get those manual updates, you will get an email about your test review that you sent. But let's refresh this page. And now we see this that's, of course, unpublished, the date it was, how many stars, and the review, and what product it's on as well. So we can choose to publish this, and we'll publish it and look at it on the site. So here is our now test review of what that looks like. Or we could unpublish it or delete it. So let's go ahead and unpublish it, and I'm just going to hit delete. So you would just continue this process with whatever other apps you wanted to set up. And much like with the themes, every app is going to be a different installation process. But always make sure to look because all the apps will have proper documentation of how to set up their app and how to manage it.